After Paul Bernardo had been identified as the Scarborough rapist, Carla Homolka went to Brampton to be with her aunt and uncle and told them that Paul was responsible for the murders of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French. On February 17, 1993, Bernardo was arrested for all charges. That same month, Carla sought full immunity from prosecutors in exchange for her cooperation in her testimony against Paul. She described herself as a battered wife, forced to participate in Bernardo's crimes. She stated she was terrified of him. Prosecutors declined full immunity. However, they agreed to a plea bargain. As part of the plea bargain, Carla pled guilty and was convicted of two counts of manslaughter in the murders of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey. She was sentenced to 12 years. Authorities were not aware at the time that the initial police search of the Bernardo residence had missed a bunch of videotapes. Videotapes that would prove to be the most damning and publicly explosive evidence in the case. On May 6, 1993, Paul Bernardo's lawyer went to retrieve six 8mm tapes that were hidden in the Bernardo residence. These tapes were not turned over to police until September 22, 1994. The tapes shared in graphic detail the rape of Tammy Homolka, Carla's 15-year-old sister, by both Paul and Carla, as well as the rape and tortures of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French, by both Carla and Paul. It was clear to observers that Carla was an active participant, not at all frightened of Paul as she'd convinced everyone to believe. She wasn't forced, and she enjoyed it. The entirety of these tapes were played during the trial. Now imagine for a second that you're Carla's parents, and you go to court believing that your daughter is the victim of domestic violence and was somehow coerced into being involved into two murders of young girls. You were then shown a tape of this older daughter raping your youngest daughter with her husband and then ultimately murdering her. A death that up to that point you'd been convinced was an accident. And then you watch more videos of your daughter going on to raping, torturing, and murdering two other girls with pleasure. News of the tapes prompted public outrage and explosive headlines, accusing the prosecution of making a deal with the devil, only giving Homolka 12 years. And yet, the Crown said that it was obliged to stand by the original agreement. Paul Bernardo was sentenced to life in prison. Carla Homolka, on the other hand, served her 12 years and was released in 2005. She settled down in Montreal, Quebec. She changed her name to Leanne Bordelais and she got married and had three children. Now she walks a free woman amongst the rest of us. At the time of his daughter's release in 2005, Carla's father stated to the Canadian press that he was not ready to rebuild his relationship with his daughter. Mr. Homoka told the Globe and Mail, someday, I guess.